What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Alexander Usyk. Get this. Usyk on beating Fury. He said, firstly, it's not if I win, when I win. The WBO, the IBF, the IBO, the WBA, heavyweight champion Alexander Usyk is fully confident in his ability to defeat the WBC king, Tyson Fury, when the two unbeaten belt holders collide February 17th in Saudi Arabia. Usyk has faith that his skills will overcome Fury's advantage in size. He says, firstly, it's not if I win, but when I win, Usyk said. He said, when I go to sleep, I imagine myself boxing. Then my hand raised high. I simply believe that I can win. Fury has been verbally blasting Usyk in the last few months, but the Ukrainian boxer believes the mind games have backfired on the Gypsy King. He said, I got into his head, and now instead of me, he thinks about a rabbit. Keep thinking, brother, Usyk said. I have listened to Eminem for many years. His mom used to call him a white rabbit. I don't know. I like this rapper. Tony Bellew once said that I am a beast in boxing. I said, not really. I'm just a white rabbit. <laughs> in my childhood, I was asked who I want to be when I grow up. I came home and I asked his advice. Who should I become when I grow up? He said, you must become a good person. First of all, you need to become a good and well-behaved person. From there, you can achieve everything else. Those are the words of Alexander Usyk. And let me counterpunch. Mind games, first of all. Um, I think they did backfire on Fury a bit. I think he got with a guy with a per perfect combination of personality that's exotic to somebody that Fury's not accustomed to. And a guy that's also a jokester. He's also uh, a joker, you know. And I think <clears throat> a guy that you can't intimidate, a guy that pretty much turns what you say to him against you, you know, and he pretty much kills, you know, uh, kills you with kindness. It's kind of hard to insult a person like that, you know. And <clears throat> I think with Tyson either not being not being ready to fight Alexander Usyk and think certain things coming out within the negotiations, you know, and the things that he's normally able to do with weaker mentality individuals, okay, that he fought before. He's not able to do this with Alexander Usyk. So the mind games haven't worked as he thought they were going to, you know, and I think that all resulted in the way he physically wanted to impose his will by smashing the head with with Usyk and stuff like that, because he wanted to now inflict another approach. You know, what happens when your, your trash talk ain't working, your capping ain't rapping, you know, you want to, you want to try something else. And I think that's why he resorted to all, oh, let me shove them. Let me push them. Let me see if I can get under his skin that way. Cause the shit that I normally do, it ain't working. And I think that bothers him. I don't think that that he that that Usyk's in his head to that degree. I think it's bothering him because the things that he's accustomed to doing ain't working like they normally do, you know. But Usyk on beating him, saying that when I win, I know I'm going to beat him, you know. That just shows confidence oozing through and through, and it makes it that much better, you know. I can't wait to see this fight. I think this is going to be the biggest fight of next year, you know, thus far because it is in. February and we do have the rest of the year, you know, hopefully it's just as good. You know what I mean? Hopefully we can see Joshua and Wilder and, you know, uh, and Ganu and whoever, right? Um, so we just have to see what comes with that fight. But I like the confidence of Alexander Usyk. You know, we really haven't heard a lot of Usyk or really Tyson the Fury, to be honest, which is a good thing because that means their ass needs to have their knob down and get their ass training and preparing themselves and conditioning themselves for each other in the ring February 17th. You guys tell me what you think about Usyk and his comments. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!